agree. I mean, bipartisanship is really a great hallmark of this country, and I think it's what makes government work best. And to hear you talk about Dwight David Eisenhower, who's, who's really been one of my heroes, even though I am a, a, a liberal Democrat myself. And I mean, you think about the history of this country and the history of the 20th century, I mean, through the most turbulent times of, of the 20th century, um, you know, the American government was blessed with three great leaders in in FDR and then Truman and then Eisenhower. That's 30, 30, dec- 30 years almost of really incredible leadership. And to compare and contrast that with the presidential, I, I hate to even use the word leadership, that we're uh, undergoing now is, is shocking to many of us who are thoughtful about the history of this country. Oh, I think so. I mean, if anything, uh, I've never seen a president that was uh, such a source of embarrassment to me. I'm not just, you know, I, I'm not willing to say, well, he's, what do you expect? He's a Republican. I expect plenty from Republicans. We've had some great Republican leaders, and and they led with dignity and grace. You know, I I didn't always agree with uh, Ronald Reagan or George Herbert Walker Bush or or George W. Bush, but looking back, they look like rock stars compared to the current holder of the Oval Office. I mean, I think his his demeanor, his his style, his lack of understanding of the Constitution and the laws of the land, his uh, misogyny is just awful to me. And so um, I, I find myself thinking that we really need to improve our, our civics in this country. The Greeks invented the word democracy from two Greek words, demos and pathos, government by the people. They also invented the word idiot. It meant one who does not participate in politics. So I think we've got to make sure we're none of us are idiots anymore and we stay engaged. 